Hello everyone, welcome to another video and good morning. Today is hopefully gonna be a nice day. I've been really, oh my goodness, I just put my thumb in my porridge. I have my breakfast here, hello, this is my breakfast. Today my plan is to have a little bit of a laid back recharge kind of day. Typically my usual recharge days, for like full disclosure and full honesty and clarity, my usual recharge days generally involve me having a really, really big sleep and then just watching TV TV and not leaving my house but generally that's not the type of thing that would be very fun to film so this is the kind of recharge day where I'm actually going to be going and doing some fun stuff there is a book from Dimex that I'd like to look at getting and it's called Drop Bear it's been on my list for a while the cover is really pretty and then on top of that there's a really cute bagel place I've been looking at for ages but it's a little bit of a way away so I've, I've sort of like put off going there but the pictures on Instagram are really cute so I want to go check that out that is basically everything I have on my list <laughs> yeah I've mentioned a a couple of times in the last few vlogs that <laughs> it's been a bit of a stressful time recently. I've had a pretty a pretty big workload and so today is going to be a really nice opportunity to just kind of de-stress and not have to do too much which I'm thoroughly <laughs> excited for. We'll just do this bit first shall we so there's no foundation in the fringe. I always do this thing where like I just forget to blend the makeup around here and then it's always just like really patchy and dodgy looking. I think that's okay. We've been watching Andor and it is so good. It's so brilliantly written. I've spent a lot of time at this point watching Star Wars content. I've watched all of Clone Wars, all of Rebels. My favorite character is Ahsoka and I think Andor is like definitely my favorite live action Star Wars content and depending on how they do the ending of this first season it might be my favorite Star Wars content ever. It's so well written, it's so well directed. The world building in Andor is amazing. There's so many interesting new places they've gone. I'm really really enjoying it. I think it's interesting how little hype it's gotten because the quality is so high. Oh no, no. <laughs> I think these two wings are completely different shapes. <laughs> Let's just fix that. My hands are always covered in eyeliner or fountain pen. But yeah, back on to what I was speaking about. Andor is amazing and I love it. And I so recommend you go watch it. The place where Cassie and Andor actually is in episode nine kind of reminds me a little bit of Severance, which was another show I've loved, 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 loved this year. It was so good. And maybe a pink lipstick today. My makeup is done and all complete. I just need to now go get changed and I can get going. But that means it's a really good time for me to bring up the sponsor of this video, which is Simple Retro. An enormous thank you to Simple Retro for sponsoring this video. Let's open everything up. So Simple Retro have sent me four pieces and an accessory. Oh my goodness. So these are a pair of trousers. These pants are stunning. They're so lovely. They're very comfortable. I love the color. I'm very much into the dark academia style. I feel like these are some really lovely dark academia type trousers. A very, very cute looking cardigan. I love the shade of this green. This is so cute. I'm like perfectly my style. The materials are really beautiful, soft fabric. I feel like Mr. Toad. <laughs> But in like the best possible way. Pink jumper. This is a lovely color. This is also my favorite thing. I love a shirt that can go over my hands. Even though it's like a high neck, it doesn't feel too constrictive or anything. Look at that. Oh, I like the buttons. I like the pattern on the buttons. I love this. It's a really nice length too. Absolutely perfect. I, oh, pockets. <laughs> this is my favorite dress now. I love this. Yes, pockets. I have been looking for a belt like this for a very long time. Maybe the type of belt a pirate or a scholar might wear. It's the perfect color too. I've been looking for a belt identical to this for maybe two years and I found it on their website and I was like, please send me the belt. I love it. This is stunning. So I will link all of the pieces I've shown you guys today in the description down below. Please feel free to click on their website and check out Simple Retro. Now that we are all like dressed and ready to go, that's a really helpful one. You need to do that before you leave the house. I am going to head off and go first to the bookstore. Really excited for today. There should be some nice stuff going on. Let's Let's go head out. Thank you. 
to underneath the bridge, but I'm on my way to the bagel place. The bagel place, oh my god, it's really bright. It's so hard to film outside. Bagel was delicious, it was really good. However, <laughs> I tried to read Drop Bear in there and I really, really struggled to concentrate on the book. I sort of find that in some cafes I can concentrate really well on what I'm doing, but in other ones, I think if it's like a small space with, I'm gonna not get hit by a car as I'm talking to you guys. If it's like a really small space and there's music playing really loudly and there's people talking that's when i start to struggle with it i'm now going to go and walk to the botanic gardens so i can sit down and do some more reading i read the first few pages of the book this is a book of essentially essays and poetry it's in the poetry section i don't actually know all that much about drop bear aside from the fact that it was written by an indigenous author who won a number of prizes for it the cover is absolutely stunning and it keeps like calling to me every time i go into a bookstore so i wanted to pick it up and it it's beautifully written so far and that's all I really have to update you on. The bagel that I had was delicious. It was absolutely delicious but I couldn't concentrate. I'm also listening to the second book in the Before the Coffee Gets Cold series. Anyway, I'm going to keep listening to that book as I walk to the gardens. home now I have ingredients to make banana bread I haven't made banana bread in a very long time and I've had a bit of a hankering for banana bread I went to brunch last week I had a bit of a funny experience with the place I went I'll tell you guys about it in a second but I went to brunch the other week and I had banana bread and I was like oh my god I love this this is wonderful let's make more banana bread at home because it's such an easy recipe to make generally with banana bread you're supposed to get bananas and then wait until they're like spotty and and they're a little bit older because it changes how the fructose which is the fruit sugar the more like oxidization changes the sweetness there's more sugar in it blah blah blah, blah changes the flavor of it However, these were the best bananas I could find at Coles. Oh my god, I just realized I haven't plugged my microphone back in. No! That means the audio is gonna be dodgy. Hello, is that better? I walked from Prospect to the gardens to Rundle Mall and that was like kind of like an hour because I couldn't be bothered taking the tram back because it was like the other direction and just like the like mental load of having to like work out the tram times and everything. I was like, it's fine, I'll just walk. But that was like an hour long walk. So I've done a lot of steps today and I feel a little bit tired, but I feel like going on that really, really long walk and listening to Before the Coffee Gets Cold, Tales from the Cafe was really therapeutic. I was listening 
listening to the last few bits of that book and just like tearing up a little bit because the end of that book is really sad. I really liked it. I did finish it. Anyway, let's make this banana bread. This is really, really simple. It's literally just mash the bananas, put in the melted butter, put in all the other ingredients. Like there's not a lot. There's not a lot going on here, which I feel like is Perfect. My anecdote to do with the banana bread, I went to this cafe, the cafe will remain nameless, but with a friend the other day. It was such a weird experience, like I, probably I just think too much generally, but hyper aware of like, if a server is like speaking to me weirdly, I'm like, okay, did I do something wrong? Like, is, have I done something wrong? Anyway, it was just like, a kind of a, a kind of a weird vibe like the whole experience <laughs> and we were gonna sit outside but then it was going to like plummet with rain and so my friend was like hey maybe we should sit inside and i was like good idea so we asked to move inside but the server was like kind of funny about it these bananas are, are a bit firm hopefully this is fine and then we like went up to order we went up to the counter and they were like oh you know you need to go sit down its table service here. And no one thing was wrong, but it was like little moment after little moment that I was like, oh God, this is just, this whole experience is really awkward and something feels a bit off. Anyway, like most of it was fine until the end when I walked up to the till to pay and <laughs> Oh God. I went to the person at the till, I was like, oh, so um, it was just the two of us, but do you mind if we like split the bill so I could pay for what I had and my friend could pay for what she had? And they were like, yeah, sure, that's fine. You just have to calculate the price that you need to owe us. And also because it's a Sunday, there's a 10% surcharge. And then she just handed me a calculator. And probably some additional context here is that like I'm Australian, we're in Australia. We don't do tips here, like there's no culture for tipping, so people are never sitting there calculating things. And so I was standing there with this calculator, kind of like, what a, okay, sure, I, I mean, I'll work it out, that's fine. And thank God, like, I know how to do that, like, really quickly on the spot. Like, working out a 10% surcharge is really easy, you just work out, you know, whatever the original money is, and then you times it by 1.1. But the thing is that not everyone knows that, and not everyone is brilliant at maths, and a lot of people have maths anxiety, so I feel like, Handing someone a calculator and saying, okay, you have to work it out is a great way to like really alienate someone or like embarrass them. But I'm a person who hates maths. So if I get made to do maths on the spot in front of people, I get like really panicked really quickly. That is all sufficiently mashed. 76 grams of butter. The butter is now microwaving. But yeah, it was a really, it was just a really strange trip to this particular cafe. And I, I calculated the price and then my... And then my friend didn't have to worry about it because obviously she could just pay the difference. Um, but it was really noisy, so she didn't hear what the server had said to me. So she was like, why did, what, what, what happened? In my 26 years on this earth, I have, I've never ever gone to a place and, and bought a thing and had the person behind the counter hand me a calculator and say, okay, you work it out. I worked in retail for about six years from the age of 15 onwards. So that's six years of customer service experience. And for many of those years, I was serving people at Tills on cash registers. And I would never imagine asking someone to work out the price of something. Anyway, I thought that was a bit of a funny experience. After I got home, I messaged another friend to be like, this is what happened to me today. Is this normal? And she was like, no, what the hell? Also, she had been to that cafe before and she was like, the staff are really rude and that place is really, really expensive. I was like, okay, well, I'm glad, I'm glad I have your validation. Three quarters of a cup of sugar is a lot of sugar. So I don't think I'm gonna do that much. Maybe I'll do like a half cup. In it goes, da da da. Oh, I need to, okay, so I forgot to add xanthan gum, which is something I need to use because I use gluten-free flour. One large egg, maybe the egg wasn't big enough. Maybe it was more like a medium egg. Maybe I need to add some liquid into here. Let's add some milk. Oh, I forgot almond milk. I should have gotten that at the shops, damn it. Soy it is. I think also you need to be a little bit more careful when you're baking with gluten-free flour because it's a bit drier than regular flour.
Hello, we have inadvertently come to the skincare portion of this video. Before I went to Dimmicks, I actually just completely forgot to vlog it. Um, on my way into Dimmicks, I actually stopped at Mecca, which is a uh, like makeup and skincare store because I wanted to try this particular face oil, which is by a brand called GoTo. It is the Hero face oil and I was like, hello, can I please have a tester for this thing that's very, very expensive and I want to see if it's going to like ruin my skin before I buy it in, in two years time or whenever I eventually get around to buying this particular thing I want to get. And so this is like a little sample of the oil and the person working there was like, okay, well, what are your skin problems? And I was like, well, my skin is like patchy and red. It gets very angry and sensitive. And so she gave me a bunch of other stuff as well. I don't know how to pronounce that. This is a fancy serum that's like really, really expensive. It was like $70 a bottle. And she was like, does price matter? And I was like, yes. <laughs> how many people say no to that question? I really do wonder. Kate Somerville Delicate Ceramide Serum. And there's another one called Glow Recipe Avocado Ceramide Serum. We're not gonna try this today though. I'm not sure where I'm showing it to you because my skin is so reactive. I think it's very unwise for me to try two new products at the same time. I think I should probably just try one. I'm gonna take off my makeup. I feel like I want to be a person who has a really good skincare routine, but I am instead a person who is very lazy and doesn't want to spend time on skincare but I want my skin to not be like reactive and angry all the time. It's just that it's so sensitive. It's like the second I put on sun cream, my skin like just turns to rashes. Okay, let's take off this makeup. I've shown this like skincare routine before, but just in case you haven't seen it, this is the one I use. And then I get off the first oil by using a cleanser. And both of these are really cheap, which is great. But then I'm gonna try and add on a very, very fancy one. Let's see how we go with that. Swear to God, there's nothing worse than having the feeling of like water dripping down your arms as you do this. Like it's like my least favorite thing in the world. Oil is washed off now. Other cleanser. Now, I think is the step that we use a couple of drops of this. Oh my God, she gave me so much. Thank you, that's so generous. I'm supposed to use five drops, so that's one drop. This is not hygienic, I'm so sorry. One, two, we've got oil, let's, let's give this a go. It smells good, it smells like plants, oh my god. Oh my god, this smells amazing. It's like really herby. My skin looks very, very shiny, oh my goodness. It's been a really lovely day. I'm quite tired, as I said, I did a lot of walking today, but I think exercise is such an important thing for me and my brain to feeling like chilled out and relaxed and unstressed. So I'm very happy that I did a lot of walking today. In a minute, I'm probably gonna start making dinner. We're probably gonna have spaghetti for dinner tonight. And then I'm just gonna chill out and and then read some more of Drop Bear and I'll check in with you guys soon as to how I'm finding it. I've just finished reading Drop Bear by Evelyn Araluen. This collection of poetry was really beautiful. It was so poignant and the author's relationship to country was explored a lot in this particular collection of poems and I just thought it was really powerful. I love the imagery. There was a particular poem here about the bushfires that were happening sort of like at the beginning of the pandemic. It was a really stressful time in Australia because we had a period of time where we had many, many, many months of bushfires happening and then straight after the bushfires were done we went straight into the pandemic and there's a poem in here that I really loved that examines um, the poet's relationship to country as she's uh, quite far away I think she's in 
Ireland at the point where she's writing this particular poem and she's seeing bushfires on TV. There's a lot of really brilliant poignant poems in here. I love a lot of these poems structurally because a lot of them are structurally quite interesting and it was a really good short poetry compilation that I really enjoyed. It was wonderful to read this today. My partner Tyler made dinner, he made spaghetti and then we watched some Stranger Things. I wanted to re-watch Stranger Things from the beginning because I wanted to re-watch basically Steve Harrington's like character arc from the beginning. So yeah, we're in the middle of like season one of Stranger Things, which is interesting to go back and see like all of the actors when they were a lot younger and all the things that are happening in the story, like things that could be like interesting foreshadowing for later on. It's actually pretty late. It's 10.59 p.m. And I'm going to say goodbye to you guys here. So thank you so incredibly much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed spending this day with me. An enormous thank you to everyone over on Patreon for supporting my channel and for making these videos possible. Take care, everyone, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.